So today we were invited by Dr. Monix uh, to visit several different schools to show students the opportunities they can have in science and math through virtual reality. With the Z space, it shows virtual reality, but kind of like 2.0. You could use um, pretty much different activities, but instead of using them hands-on, you can use them um, looking at a computer and using a pen with glasses. The bus is a mobile classroom uh, that has toured six different schools to date, seventh this afternoon, to give students in several of the Shelby County schools the opportunity to experience virtual reality uh, and something that's very new to them. Well, um, the virtual experience, uh, the most uh, interesting thing and fun thing about it was the fact that since um, like the new thing that we could like experience that you know normally we can't like you know we can experience it in 3D and like really kind of almost reality like it basically reality. We have content elementary through university level in science mostly but for medical fields for engineering fields all biology chemistry physics on and on and on so we're covering all of the sciences K through university. Say if someone is either crippled or disabled and they can't do certain things within the class, this will be a great opportunity for them to be able to work with the class uh, because it's, it's something everybody can do. It's not something uh, certain people to certain levels can do. Um, I'm hoping that they all get a chance to do something that they've never seen before. And hopefully in their own mind they'll pick a career. So lots of the students were working with hearts. Some of them came up right to us right after that and said, you know, I really might consider being a doctor someday, or an engineer, or some of the things that they maybe never thought about. So it gives them that experience that they're interested in exploring it down the road.